Us this morning, we're joined now by Ratan Lal, a professor of soil science at Ohio State University in the U.S. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor. So, first of all, can you just explain briefly to our audiences technically what is desertification and how big a problem is it? Desertification means aridization of dry lands. It's a degradation of global dry land, as you said, 40% of the world's land area, and when it becomes more prone to aridization. Uh, by erosion, by salinization, by depletion of biodiversity, then it's called desertification. And that has been a very serious global problem as far back as mid-60s. And I'm glad to hear that China has succeeded in reversing this serious problem. Indeed, it does sound like very good news. Why is this zero growth in land degradation so important, not just for China, but in the more broader global context? One of the sustainable development goals of the Agenda 2030 uh, that was adopted from 2015 to 2030 is achieving net zero land degradation. That's what UNCCD had hoped to achieve. I think we are not completely on track to achieving that, but if China has achieved half of that goal of achieving its land, China, India, West Asia, North Africa, West African Sahel are the global hotspots. So if China has succeeded, that example can be replicated elsewhere. That could be a role model for us to follow to achieve the goal of zero net land degradation. Right now we are not there. And what might all of this mean for collaboration between China and Africa's so-called Great Green Wall and U.S.? reforestation projects? The Great Green Wall is a great idea. It is a uh, afforestation of the Sahel region, several kilometer wide strip, all the way from Senegal to Somalia, and we are making progress. It's not yet been implemented very successfully, but it's a great idea. So China and other countries, U.S., United Nations Environment Program, UNCCD, they could all work together in achieving that. If that happens, then the Sahara moving south can certainly be stopped. Cooperation is very critical. In addition to this Sahara being stopped, Carbon sequestration is a very important part. Now, China's data is not known, but hopefully the rate of carbon sequestration will also be known very soon. So you say that cooperation is absolutely critical. What are your hopes for this United Nations conference taking place in Saudi Arabia next month to address uh, um, this, this issue of desertification? I was supposed to attend that conference. I just submitted my recorded lecture this morning. I think the key issue is discussion is important, but taking action. It's the action which is needed, not always the discussion. And I hope that the Saudi Arabia will set up an example of how rich countries such as Saudi Arabia, UAE, and many others, including Western societies, can contribute toward addressing the serious global issues. It is the action that I hope it will happen, not just the discussion. We have been discussing this problem mm -hmm. since very 60s. We need action, and the time for action is now. Indeed. It is not tomorrow. Indeed. Well, we'll see if that's what comes out of that conference. Thank you so much, Ratan Lal, Professor of Soil Science at Ohio State University. Thank you.